Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. If your video is about to start shortly, please take this opportunity to hit the like button down below, leave some comments, tell your friends. Interaction, likes, subscriptions help my channel to grow and help me to keep producing content for yourselves. If you're new to my channel, check out the other videos that I've got. There are over 500 videos at this stage, so there should be something there for everybody. Again, video is about to start. Hit that like button down below. Hi okay, guys, so welcome back. Uh, so tonight we're going to tie a very simple fly, uh, but it's also one of the most iconic and best known patterns, I suppose, in the world, and that is the Sawyer's Killer Bug. So this fly uses a material that's no longer produced. Uh, it was a simple wool uh, called Chadwick's 477. Uh, comes in a little card. Originally was sold at 4p a card and now you can find it. I think the other day I had a look there was a card selling on eBay at £200 but they, they regularly make over £100. Uh, I had a card. I have lost it. No idea where it is which is unfortunate given the price of the thing. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use a substitute material here. So given that it's no longer produced there are several uh, new sort of wools out there that people use in its place so we're going to use one of those so for these flies the uh, one of the unusual things I suppose is that we use copper wire as the tying thread so not the easiest of things to work with uh, you'll probably find that you need something at 0.1 millimeters or less um, so it, it's there to give a little bit of weight so if you go for a very fine one you can find that it takes a lot of turns to build up this sort of little thorax area um, if you use a thicker one what you'll find is that it's not as easy to control and tends to be a little bit lumpier but by going backwards on itself to maybe about the halfway, then come forwards, not quite to the front because we're looking at taper and that little bit of a an eye sort of section to it, and back over itself will give you about three layers here. It's not a hugely heavily weighted fly, and then take it down as far as you're going. So this is a standard B175 hook. Um, this is a, happens to be a size 12. Uh, although I said you could also tie this fly on a curved hook depending on what you're trying to achieve uh, shape wise. So in this instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, Spindrift as my substitute. But there are also subs from uh, Vineyards and also uh, Semperfly also do a 477 substitute. So the Semperfly one uh, is a four ply wool, I think. One, two, three. Or, yeah, it's a four ply wool. So to tie a smaller fly, just simply unravel that until you get one or two strands, depending on what size fly you want to tie. Uh, the spin drift here is a two ply. Uh, so I'm going to leave it as a two ply here, because I'm tying size 12. And the thing about using a substitute is you don't mind trimming bits off, whereas if you're using 477, the original at a hundred pound for whatever is on a card, only a lot of meters, uh, you'll be making every last millimeter count. So, what I'll do is I'm just going to take it slightly round the bend, and then I'm going to flip the fly up because I find with these sort of things it's easier to wrap into the sort of cup of the hook, if that makes sense, and wrap that forward. So once we get to the head or eye, I'm going to go backwards again and then I'm just going to let it unravel a bit and that should give me a little flatter wrap so as I, so as I maintain a taper to it rather than it being uniform thickness and we're tying this fly in at the back so a few two three turns will hold it I said the other thing about our copper wire is I have a very thin copper wire over there which is probably 0.05mm or less but with that uh, 
I'll get it neater, but there's much less holding strength and you can feel that wire stretching as you're wrapping. So once I'm at the back here, I'm going to put in a half hitch, like a whip finish type idea, and let that tighten down. And in a lot of cases it will actually snap off, but because it's a wire, it's unlikely to unravel. So I just snip it off, leaving a very, very fine little tag end there. And then you can get a bit of clear varnish or a little bit of uh, super glue and just dab those wraps of wire to hold that place and stop it unraveling. So I said really simple fly, copper wire, wool, that's the height of it. If you find a card of original 477, buy it. Uh, you could probably sit on it and send your children to to uh, university <laughs> down the line when it has appreciated a thousand pound a card or whatever as it becomes more and more uh, uncommon. Um, so I suppose this fly is probably to imitate a variety of different larvae, maggots or whatever um, and has proven itself, hence its name, as a killer bug down the years and as I said very sought after material, very sought after pattern. So hopefully you liked what you've seen tonight. If you did, give us a like, subscribe, uh, tell your friends, check out all the other videos on the channel. And until next time, tight lines, and thanks for watching.